Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see in front of you, we are going to be doing another review on the Kringle Candle Reserve Collection candles, this time featuring Merlot. Now, right away, you can see this is a beautiful candle. I absolutely love the in-depth, really, really juicy, fresh Merlot wine grapes that have almost like a dewiness on them that you can see because that black background really makes them pop. Now, this will be available tomorrow, June 20th at noon Eastern Standard Time. It will be $34, but as always, you can use my code DREWYOK15 to save yourself 15%. Now, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. That is an affiliate link, so I do earn a commission. However, I was not paid for this review, or I did not receive this candle in PR. We as ambassadors are offered to purchase candles sometimes early in a pre-order, for a discount, and that's what happened with this candle. So, in the review, uh, this says, a rich and velvety fragrance that captures the essence of a fine wine. The top notes of juicy grape and ripe berry create a luscious opening, followed by a heart of sweet currant that adds depth. The base notes are sugared berries, provide a sweet, lingering finish that envelops your senses in a luxurious warmth. So we have top notes of grape and berry, mid notes of currant and sweet, base notes of berry and sugar. Let me just say, I love this candle, you guys. I absolutely love this candle, which based on my cold sniffs and based on what I know about myself, comes as a surprise because Grape fragrances are typically not my favorite. There's never been a scent that's grape that I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I need a ton of it. And while I don't need a ton of this one, I'm really enjoying it. Now, if you watched my previous video where I reviewed the Ginger Peach Candle, I mentioned that I was burning this one in my living room and Ginger Peach here in my dining room together, which is the case. I actually just switched this from the living room to the dining room for this video because I like this setup. But when I burn these two together, I get the most delicious summer sangria fragrance. So a really nice wine fragrance with a hint of fruit from the peaches. But I'm going to tell you about the Merlot side of it. One, this is a strong candle, you guys. I had this going. This is about my fourth or fifth burn. As you can see, I'm halfway through the candle. It's burning very strong. Right here is the top of the wax pool, and right here is the bottom. It's been burning for about four hours now, and it's been creating a beautiful wax pool and a really great, strong throw. Like, every time that I leave the room and come back, I'm instantly met with this rich, robust, fruity fragrance that I really, really love. And it's funny because I can detect the Merlot, and I can de detect the ginger peach, even though they're in separate rooms when they go together, I can smell those two fragrance notes. This is a really, really beautiful candle, guys. And again, I'm not super into great fragrances. I find that most of the time they come off like a Robitussin, like a cherry cough syrup, like this, or a cherry, a grape cough syrup, medicinal or candy-like. This truly smells like Merlot grapes in a wine. Almost like, you know, if, at least when I was a kid, I thought it was really fancy and poured like Welch's grape juice in a wine glass thinking it was wine. Now, I'm 27 now. I don't really drink. It's not really something that I enjoy, but I'm familiar with the fragrance of wine and I'm familiar with obviously with grape juice. And I feel like this is a beautiful hybrid between them. It's like California Cab, which is another Kringle Candle uh, reserve fragrance, is more of a true wine fragrance. This is the grapes that are made into the wine. So you have that grape skin 
You have the juiciness of the grape. The sweet berry that's in the background there with the currant just adds a more complexity, a more depth to the fragrance. But I really, really like this. If you like fruity fragrances, if you like wine fragrances, if you want a really great kitchen fragrance to burn when you have company coming over and they walk in your home and it's like, wow, that really just smells like a kitchen. Like, it really smells like you have wine going in the kitchen or it does smell like a really great background fragrance for a kitchen is the best way for me to describe it. I am really impressed with this candle. Will I repurchase it? Maybe I'd get another one. Again, with fruity fragrances, it's not something that I seek out and I'm constantly looking for more of all the time, but I really enjoy fragrances like this and I really am enjoying it. I would say the strength and throw it's about a medium high. It's not going to blow you out of the house, but every time I'm in the room where this candle's burning, I can definitely smell it. So I give this one two thumbs up. I really enjoy it. I do think if you burn it with a ginger peach, you get a really great summer sangria vibe, but I understand people don't feel like they need to burn two candles or have to burn two candles to get a great throw. That's a personal preference. I enjoy it. I like playing mixologist and experimenting with the different fragrances. So that's what I've been doing with this one, and I'm having great luck. Again, these come out on Thursday, tomorrow, July, July, June 20th at noon Eastern Standard Time. Use my code DrewDoc15. I'll have all that linked down below, and give it a try for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on my channel. Make it a better world, and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.